What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Sequence. I'm your host, Trevor Plouffe, and today's episode is brought to you by DraftKings. Now, with the postseason in full effect, I wanted to do a show about one of my favorite things about the postseason, and that is when little-known players become household names because of something they do in the postseason. They do something extraordinary in an extraordinary time, and the guy we're about to talk about is no different. Travis Ishikawa drafted in 2006 in the 21st round by the Giants. We're going to talk about his big home run in 2014. Now, he has a cup of coffee in 2006 as a part-time player in uh, 08, 09, 2010. He gets a ring with the Giants as a supporting cast type of player. After that, he's shipped off. He goes to Milwaukee. Uh, He ends up in Baltimore in New York. And then in 2014, the year we're going to talk about, he starts with the Pirates. Now, early in April, he gets released, asks for his release, whatever it is. He becomes a free agent and decides to go back home to the Giants. He spends most of the year in the minor leagues until July 29th. He gets called back up to the bigs and is used sparingly throughout August and September. Now, Travis showed enough to be on the postseason roster. He puts together good at bats, so why not? Well, he starts playing left field. In the wild card game, doesn't have a ton of success. In the division series, doesn't have a ton of success. But then the championship series with the Cardinals in town, this is when Travis starts to go off. He has three RBIs in game three, and then here comes game five, and that's what we'll be talking about today. Now, we know they won the World Series in 2010. Like I said, Travis was part of that. The Giants won it again in 2012. Well, Travis was off in Milwaukee doing Lord knows what. Travis says, I want that ring again. So in this game, Giants are leading the series 3-1 to one against the Cardinals. Travis gets to come to the plate in what most people will consider a dream scenario, something that when you're playing baseball in the backyard, you dream about all the time. That's two runners on, tie game, bottom of the ninth. You get to win it. Let's see what he does. All right, here we go. And in steps Travis Ishikawa. And you can see here two runners on. He's facing Michael Walker. Game tied in the bottom of the ninth. You really got to control your emotions here. You want to go and hit that first pitch for a home run. And this is the best thing that can happen to you as a hitter. Michael Walker pulls it inside. Travis doesn't even have to think about swinging right there. That's a ball out of the hand. Now, again, you really got to control those emotions. Think about base hit back up the middle here. Just touch the outfield grass. You're going to win this game. You got to reel those emotions in, reel them in right now. 1 0 is a great time to hack, but you got to be patient. And then he gets that. That to me is those two pitches right there set the whole entire bat up. Travis didn't have to think about swinging at those pitches. Now he's in the zone 2 0. Now, again, here, this is another one of those things. Everybody wants you to hit a home run. You want to hit a home run, but are you going to have the discipline to have a good at bat? That's why he's here on this postseason roster what he's been doing is putting together good at bats now too well we get a shake there from waka that's a fake shake and here travis ishikawa goes too well right down the middle and i mean let him just watch this emotion come out right here i don't think he was trying to hit a home run but that pitch was right there look at him go there's like jake peavy's out there on third base This looks like Hank Aaron when he hits the home run to pass Babe Ruth. Look at all these people going nuts. And again, this is Travis Ishikawa we're talking about here. 23 home runs in his MLB career, but he's going to be remembered forever in San Francisco because of this. Calm those emotions. Probably was trying to go back up the box, but he got a pitch just laid right down the middle, and he deposited in the seats. The Cardinals lose. The Giants go to the World Series. Mad Bum dominates the Royals. They get another ring. And now we talk about Travis Ishikawa, San Francisco Giants legend. He's got two World Series rings, all because he was patient. He persevered and put together good at bats. Now, I really want Travis to come on here and do this. I think we're going to get him to come on here and go over this at bat with me. I think that would be excellent. But this is one of my favorite things about the postseason I wanted to share with you guys. If you just keep watching, he's so happy. Every postseason, someone does something they're not supposed to do. Travis was not supposed to do that, but he did it. He'll never be forgotten in San Francisco Giants history. 
And I love that about the game of baseball. Thank you for sticking with us. Can't wait to do more of these throughout the postseason. We have a great guest coming on next week. I'll see you guys then. Week three of football is in the books, and now it's time to review the tapes and get ready for week four. There's no better place to get in on all the action than with DraftKings Sportsbook, America's top-rated sportsbook app. Download the top-rated DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use promo code JOHNBOY when you sign up to get this can't-miss offer. Pick any team during week four, bet $1 on them, and win $100 if they win. That's $1 to win $100 when you use promo code JOHNBOY during sign-up for a limited time only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Must be 21 or older, New Jersey only. Profile boost terms and conditions and eligibility restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com sportsbook for details. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER.